I am working again in the garden today and I had to bring back my to-do list to help keep me organized because there's a lot of stuff I've been slipping on. So I really want to get my potatoes planted and then uh, plant the radishes and carrots. And I also need to cup up some of my bigger ones to help with root development. At the same time, I'm going to see if I have enough time to do my worms and see if actually putting the compost into some of the plants makes a difference or not. So we're going to see what happens. I have these large 22 gallon plastic containers that are food grade. I'm going to take and plant the potatoes in there. Um, some of these are bigger, so I'm going to put four, I have four total, so I'm going to put four in each one um, with the assumption a couple are probably going to die. And then I'm going to do the, the hilling up method, but in the containers, and we'll see how that works as far as them actually lasting or if they're going to get too hot inside of these containers. I don't know. So these are potatoes from a grocery bag, a shopping bag at the grocery store. They have more development on them than my seed potatoes do. Um, however, these ones are starting to turn green from being exposed to the sun. That's why potatoes turn green. Um, and it's actually a toxin. A lot of people don't know that, but the, the greenness is a poison. Um, it doesn't really hurt us, but that's why usually green potatoes taste so bad. Um, poisons usually taste bad uh, so you don't eat them but these ones I'm gonna go ahead and plant and see what happens so I'm gonna plant these ones as an experiment and then I'm gonna plant these ones because I actually want to grow potatoes for once My worm bin I have been working on is an all-star. My original one is doing amazing. I've been feeding on this side of my worm bin to get the worms to come over here so I can harvest this side. So, or maybe it's the other way around, because that side has a lot of worms. That side has a lot of worms. Yes, there are worms all over, so I need to do a feeding on a particular side, but I also have not been seeing a lot of eggs. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit more cocoa core. So some more cocoa core. And I'm going to put some sand in. Now the goal of the sand, it was using eggs, but... Uh, eggshells, but I'm going to use a little bit of sand this time, and it's to give the worms something to rub up against to help them get the eggs out, because I have not been seeing eggs anywhere in here. So I'm hoping if they have some eggs or something to rub up against, that will help give them some grit. Or I'm just going to kill all my worms. This is worm bin number two. I have been struggling very bad with it. Don't know what it is, I just can't, I don't like the container, I can't get it to work, um, but I'm hoping soon I will have something. Another weird thing, I really beat up this container and these worms are just living. Like, they should be drowned right now, but they're still kicking. Two buckets, um, some soil left over with some peat moss, same exact thing in this one. So this one I'm going to mix a lot more worm castings into.
So I'm still super exhausted from the other day and all the stuff I did, but I did get some stuff done. Um, I don't think I'm actually ready to seed up some of my things like I thought I was after looking at them, but I did get my potatoes planted, some side dressing. I added the sand and the food. And I planted my carrots and radishes. So I got a little bit done. I'm just kind of tired. So out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I got one, two, three, four, five, five. That's above 50%. So that's really good in my book. But I'm gonna water everything and then I'm gonna go in and rest. I'm tired.